something this. What is me? This isn't happening. This isn't happening. Please don't do this. As always, Beth, I'll do everything in my power to help you, but I warn you, the process I'll have to undertake may be a long one, and may prove costly. That's fine. I'll give you all I have. I just want him back. to it again it's been six weeks now and that's the sixth letter honestly every time i go in there they just look at me as if i'm a mad woman do i look mad honestly do i i just think that you've been through a lot sis i mean remember when colin left me i was in a right state david was kidnapped marie it's nothing like what happened to you nothing in my house. They were in my house. Please come over. Please hurry. They were trying to freak me out, Marie. They were sending me a message telling me to stop looking for him. They're not close. They must know about Simon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, who's Simon? A friend. Someone who's helping me find him. Someone I can trust. Okay, Beth, I really don't think you should be approaching strange men with this. I mean, they could just be doing it to take advantage of you. I mean, let's face facts, you're not exactly in the right frame of mind at the moment, are you? Marie, someone broke into my flat in the middle of the night and smashed our picture while I was right there in the shower. Now, I'm sorry, but I think I'm entitled to feel a little bit freaked out by that, don't you think? You've not told the police about this, have you? Oh, what's the point? They didn't believe me about the kidnapping. They don't believe me about the letters, so they're not going to believe me about this. I just feel like I'm on my own, Marie. You're not on your own. I'm here for you. They're watching me, Simon. Wherever I go, they're watching me, I know it. And I think they know about you too. 
I'm worried. I really think something bad's going to happen. I think we should meet. I'm sorry that it's come to this, Beth, but I don't think I can help you anymore. I think it's in our best interest that you don't contact me from now on. They've got to you, haven't they? Don't worry. I understand. They're dangerous people. I'm just sorry I got you into this. Who are you talking about, Beth? You know who? The Russians. The people who took David. Listen, it's hard for me to tell you this, but it's getting to a stage now where I feel I have to. I'm not exactly everything I appear to be. The bottom line is I can't do this anymore. I can see you're ill. You need help, but not from me. I know why you're saying this, Simon. You just don't want to see me get hurt. You're a good friend, and I remember that. I'm not your friend, Beth. I never was. But I will give you this advice. If you want answers, you'll find them in the people who are closest to you. I came here as soon as I could. What's happened? I'll tell you all about it. Take a seat. I'll be right back. Sis, what are you doing? You're the one who should be answering that. You're supposed to be my sister. My family. How could you? What are you talking about? I assume I don't know what's been going on, Marie. David told me everything. I just didn't want to believe it. I couldn't believe it. But it was all true. All of it. What did David tell you, Beth? Enough to know exactly what you are. To know you're going to tell me what's happened to him. Where is he? Where's my husband? Where is he? Beth! Where is he, you lying bitch? He's gone, Beth. He left you. He ran away with someone else, remember? No. No, he didn't. Yes? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry.
should have met someone else. It's been going on for a while now. Her name is Petra. I'm going away to live with her. Look, I hate myself for what's happened, but there's nothing I can do about that now. I suppose what I'm really trying to tell you is I'm leaving you. Beth, I'm sorry. I'm leaving you. I'll sort everything out for you. Listen, don't worry. You'll be back though. Sooner than you think. <laughs> 